Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully able to add some of the admin user and also here we assign some of the role for a specific that user, right? Now in this video, I want to complete that edit update. Let's do that work for doing this. That is in our all admin page. I want to go to that our all admin and now I want to create another new route. Okay, here that will be as a um, edit agent, but I want to name it as a edit admin. That and also here we have to edit it with a specific one of the requested ID. That will be same process that I have done before a lot of the time. Now I want to create it. And that will be another get method. I simply paste it. Now I name that our route name as a edit admin. So that will be as a edit admin. I name it as a edit admin. Now to create on the new method as a edit admin. And also here we have to do we have to pass that our requested ID, right? Great, now I want to create as edit admin method in our admin controller. Now go to that our admin controller here after that is store. I want to create another new one that will be as a public function method name as edit admin. Great. And then that will be our end function. And now I want to do, I want to make it, I get that our requested ID. Okay. And then I want to do, I want to simply put one of the variables. So that I take that variable as a user. User will be, I want to access that our user model, right? So that is user model. It should be find or fail our, that is the requested ID, right? A specific row ID data, then that will be get. And then I want to do, I want to also pass that out all that roles because roles also should be as a selected. So for the reasons I want to take all that our role. So that will be as all role. Great. Now I want to return one of the view page. Return view will be the same in our backend into the pages. And then I have created as admin. Now I want to create on the new page as edit. Okay, edit admin. And then I want to pass both of this data. I want to pass that compacted our user data, a specific row ID user. Now we have to display that value and also that will be our role. Right? I simply get both of this and here I pass it. Perfect. Now I want to create as a edit admin. I copy it now in our pages admin area. I want to create another new file. Click as a save as name it as a edit admin dot blade dot php. Okay, so this page will be just like our add page. From to the add page, I copy everything and now in our edit page, I want to paste it. So here, what exactly we have to do? I have already get that our requested user ID data. I take the things with this variable user. Now with this user, I only want to do on the display all that our value, right? That means our database field name, which I have done this type of work a lot of the time. Now I want to do with our user, I want to do and to access that our field name as a user table field name as a username username value that should be loaded and also I want to load the our admin name email phone address okay password all will be not needed I want to remove this password functionality now I want to display our field name a username that will be display our name value that will be display our email value or database field name as an email right now with this i want to display that our phone phone value will be display address value will be display right and now only here we have to now we change it because here i have also take all that our roles you can see with the same variable as a role now our all that role should be loaded but here our role should be as a selected right so for the reasons here i want to do uh, after that, I want to put on the condition, same condition here. I have already get all the data with the user, right? So now with this user, I want to do, I want to access it. That is also another function as a has role function. So that is a has role. So that is despite one of the default function. Now with this function, I want to do, I want to access our role. And with this role, I want to access that our role table field name as a name. And that is user. Everything actually comes from our which place. Now that is actually comes from our this table as a model has role. Here you can see that is also our user, the model ID, and also that is our role ID. Right. So here I want to do, I want to simply get it. Or when our role ID will be matched with our requested, our user ID, then that will be actually selected. So that is the things I have done. User has role. Now by this has role function, I want to access that our role table field name. When it will be get that our field name, then that will be, then that will be added as a selected, okay, selected and else, else it will be as a empty. Okay. Simple one of the condition an id and the name that will be same 
now let's check this out if you now click as a save all i want to run that our optimize optimize running successful and now if you go i want to refresh it now for a specific this user as you do me and let's check this out click as a edit now you can see there is our 15 id so that is actually our requested id yes our our name is visible our username is visible the email phone number value the address value is visible and also you can see our role is also as a selected as a manager right for a specific this user i have already selected that role should be as a manager and now our manager is selected great now i want to complete that update functionality also so right now that is all that our field everything will be same only now i want to create another new one okay here i want to create another new one uh, that means new route that will be as an update okay i want to use it as a update update admin and then also here we have to do have to pass that our id id will be which one here i have already get that our user specific requested id data now i want to do i want to simply pass it with this user i want to pass that our user id okay great great so that's all now we have to create our update admin i copy it now that will be here uh, i want to create another new one i copy it and i paste it now that will be the name i name it as a update admin and also that have another requested id requested id i hope you get the point so that is actually our 15 specific requested id right now i want to do and to simply take it that will be as a update admin i want to use it as a update admin and also that have another requested id that will be on the post method i want to update it so that will be the post and then i want to create on the new one as an update admin okay now i want to create this type of one of the method as an update admin method in our admin controller now go to that our admin controller here after that i want to create on the new one as a public function and that will be actually just like our e store admin better i want to copy everything from our e store admin okay i copy it now i want to do and to paste it our first job is we have to change that our method name as a admin and that is update admin so that will be as a update admin that is our request request and also after that that will be one of the id right so i want to do to simply take this id so that is our requested id great so here only now we have to do that is our user okay into the user area that will be first of all find or fail okay find or fail or that is our requested id when that will be match then that will be update that our username name email phone address password i have already removed it now that will be not needed and role had been uh, active everything will be same okay everything will be same now only we have to change that here okay first of all i want to do whatever the role i have actually assigned like from to the manager if you want to change our another role and after that if you click as update our previous data so that is the data i want to do i want to remove so if you want to remove it that is also another default function as a detach function so with this detach function i want to do and to remove all that our existing um role so if you want to do this work here here i want to do i want to with this user with this user i want to do to access that roles so that is our roles and now with this roles function i want to do and to call another function as a detach okay detach t e t s c h so i want to do i want to simply call that as a detach great now our existing data will be detached great and then if there have any another new request it will be assigned that another new re, new request okay so new request means here i have also used the same now requested field name as a roles then that will be assigned one of the new roles okay that's all and it should be displayed as a admin user updated updated successful and that will be written redirect to our all admin page so that is the simple things we have to do okay friend great now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and i want to run that our optimize okay optimize running successful i want to check it now refresh it now like i want to change that um, name name uh, here username i want to change it and also I want to change some of the address and now i want to assign change that role as a manager to the sales okay now if you click as a save changes 
Hmm, you can see there is a new user updated successful and role also now become changed. And if you go now, that should be also update. Now, if you refresh it, yes, you can see it's just simply detach your previous data. And now our model user is the same, only now our role as a change. Role as a four, four means here you can see that is our cells, right? Now I want to test with our another user. We want to add another admin user. I name it as a test admin. I name it as a test admin. Uh, test okay. Test admin at the rate gmail.com. And that is a phone number. They have some of the a address for education purpose. I want to use it. And that is our I name it as udemy under three four five. And here I assign that role as a manager. Now click as a save changes. Hmm. You can see now there is a new one is added as a test admin user that is a manager and now that should be also add another one. Hmm. You can see now that is also successfully added another one as a 16 model that means user ID as a 16 and role ID as a 2. Great. Great. So here friend also you are able to now successfully edit and update and that is our main admin. So into the main admin area I want to do I want to update this role right now I want to make it as a super admin and for the super admin I have already assigned all that our permission right. So right now I simply change it. Mm, perfect. So now that is successfully done. So in our next video I want to complete our delete functionality. Okay. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.